Hey guys, you're watching Boogie Plays Games, where sometimes Boogie Plays Games, and today I'm going to play a little bit of Far Cry Primal. I'm playing this on Xbox One, uh, just so you know, I normally play these types of games on PC. Oh jeez. Well, welcome. Welcome to the world of Far Cry Primal. You, you have officially been initiated. What a great way to start a video. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. Okay, I'm so bad with the controller. Let's see what we can figure out. There he is. Let's get our stab on. Die. Come on. Die. 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 This is my first... First cougar kill. There we go. Feed. Feed my puppy. Good boy. As I was saying, I'm playing this on Xbox One. And I will tell you that I'm really enjoying my experience. But if you're interested in picking up this on PC, PC review cards codes have not been given out just yet. So, uh, I think actually they went out today. You probably want to pay special attention to people like Total Biscuit, who will do a very solid port report to give you an idea of whether or not the PC version is going to come out and be solid. My review copy here was given on Xbox One, and man, i got to say, I've been streaming to the past couple nights, and I'm fairly impressed. So let's give you a quick rundown of what Far Cry Primal is. Far Cry Primal is Far Cry, basically, set in 10,000 BCE. Graphics are nice, as you come to expect from a um, Far Cry game, especially here for Xbox One. We've got a variety of weapons. We've got the bow, which we can craft on the fly. Uh, we've got clubs, which we can also craft on the fly. Uh, we've got sting bombs. We've got bait. I have not unlocked this just yet. We do have the spear as well. All of this weaponry can also be set on fire, uh, which can be used to mess with the landscape and so forth, as well as uh, setting animals and other things on fire. Here, in front of me, you'll see a bonfire, and everybody says, Hey, how is Ubisoft going to make a game that they don't have radio towers in? Well, the answer was fairly simple. If you take a look at the map here, you'll see that they have built in uh, bonfires. Here's one we have not taken over. Here's another one that we have not taken over. Uh, and this serves as the radio tower for the open world, for the Ubisoft formula we've all come to either love or hate at this point. But we all know very, very well. Um, the game is pretty interesting. I don't want to really spoil the plot, uh, but I'll give you this short rundown. You are playing a caveman who has been separated from his tribe and ha decides to build his own. You also have an opposing tribe that you're fighting relatively regularly. I believe we can actually hear some of them being fought in the distance right now. I'm seeing them on my mini-map. Oh, my spear has caught my hand on fire. We are down a spear. I don't believe I can pick that one back up. Yep, there's absolute chaos happening here. Let's equip our bow. And see what we can find. Hunter Sense is back. How did the victor go the spoils, I presume? There's a bear corpse down there. We will, should be able to pick that up, I think. This guy will stand still for just one second. You know, if I wanted to get a better look... If I wanted to get a better look, in fact, I think I would. I'm going to summon my owl. As a Beastmaster, I've been given a lot of different ways to uh, interact with beasts, and I've only picked up a few myself. But this owl is going to allow me to mark pretty much everything that's going on down here. This burning encampment. I can slow down, zoom in a little bit if I want. That's enough. Wow! Wow, it's absolute chaos down there. It is absolute chaos. I think we could just... I think we can just head down and loot that bear. I'm going to try not to take too much falling damage here. There we go. Oh, we are getting spotted. Yep, they have now found us. I think I'll swap to my club and do it the old-fashioned way. This is, this is how we always believed it would happen to begin with back in the day. Uh, healing it should be very familiar with you. Uh, you pick up meat from different animals and use that meat to heal yourself. And there are actually different ways that you can do that. But right now I'm very interested. Very interested in finding that bear corpse. Yeah. Skin a brown bear. Got an arrow out of it. Six meats. We can feed our dog to make sure he's fully healed. Good man. Good boy. Fast travel is of course back. And I'll show you what we can do there. Oh. Nope. Let's send our dog at these guys as soon as we see them. There we go. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. I believe in you. 
And, oh boy. If you ever wondered why Far Cry 4 had all of that wildlife in it, this should give you an idea. Let's set our club on fire. It allows us to see a little bit better. Ooh, do I not have the... There we go. There we go. Scare animals a little bit. Set the environment on fire as well as be able to light our way. Perfect use. Well, I guess he is done. I guess he's done. I guess he's out of here. We'll gather these resources. Um, of course, just with the Far Cry system, we definitely have crafting here. And crafting is mostly designed to get you upgrades and unlock bags. Quite a bit of stuff to do here. In order to access things that are here below, we've got to unlock stuff at our village, which I'll show you in a second. Skill tree is pretty much what you'd expect from Far Cry as well. Um, we've got the Beastmaster skills for all of our different uh, animals. Allows you to un uh, tame different animals, so on and so forth. Here's uh, the different gathering skills for gathering resources, which is fairly important this time around because it's a survival style game. Definitely something very different from Far Cry, where a lot of the times it was just being picked up to sell or picked up to craft. And I mentioned food as well earlier. Uh, there's a variety of different ways to use food. Uh, you can, of course, pick up meat and use that to heal yourself. I have it currently set to uh, uh, getting two... Did you see that animal run by? Did you see that animal run by? Oh, Lord. Well, <laughs> let's... Uh, oh, that's my dog. That's my dog. That's my dog. Okay, all right. Let's swap. Well, everyone's on fire. <laughs> everyone's on fire. Good boy. Good boy, flaming puppy. You have served me well. Thank you for this cave lion skin. We are currently out at night as well. Night is obviously quite, quite a dangerous experience. As I'm sure you're able to tell right now. Let's get you fed up. Alright, as I was saying, the different types of foods. Um, you can eat meat plus a green leaf. That's going to heal you more. Uh, I've unlocked a... Uh, uh, several potions, I guess you would call them, uh, combining herbs with meat to give you different boosts, swimming faster, uh, fireproof, so on and so forth. There's a couple more here that can be locked, unlocked as well. And the way that we get all of these unlocks is by working on our village. So let's use the fast travel system to get back to our village. And we'll show you what I mean by this. This is where the crafting system or the resource system really comes into play and it's it's a refreshing pace from Far Cry 4. The formula of a Ubisoft game or of a Far Cry game is definitely in place here, but there's enough variation to it that I find this game to be terribly fascinating. Um well, it is definitely it is definitely nighttime. Maybe not the best time to show off our village. Doesn't look like we have a quest here. Let's go let's go take a nap. We'll take a nap till morning. And of course, daytime and nighttime has a different impact on the game. Nighttime will have unique spawns, unique animals, unique creatures, unique things to find. Um, but of course, it's more dangerous. Uh, daytime, you're going to find a lot more other uh, tribesmen, the opposing tribe outside as well. Uh, and other unique things that only happen during the daytime. That alone is enough to really say that this is a, a huge departure from the Far Cry formula. The difference between 3 and 4 and 4 to this. Um, but I digress. So here you can see little upgrade spots. Uh, here's Takar's cave, which we've upgraded, which gave me a bunch of weapon upgrades. Uh, I am Takar, for the record, so this is my personal cave. I'll get 3,000 XP for upgrading this, and it'll also allow me the bonus of adding villagers to my village. Um, over here, I believe, is something else to upgrade. Oh, geez. What is this? We got a goat skin. Yay, free goat skin from my villagers. Being the lord of this village pretty much means I can do and take whatever I want, I guess. Here's Sawyer's hut. Uh, Sawyer's character is introduced early on in the game. Uh, upgrading this is going to get us a full health food recipe, ultimate boost food recipe, rare item placed in the reward stash each day, and 3,000 XP. Here we're going to need some alder wood. We're going to need slate, uh, reeds, mammoth skin, and population of, of, of 40, and we're currently at 15. So obviously we're going to need reeds and mammoth skins to do this. I've never seen a mammoth. So it's going to be a while until we'll be able to do that, but obviously you're urged to do that as quick as possible because each game day you're going to get the bonus of stuff added to your stash. Here is probably a quest 
This is the guy who unlocked my Beastmaster ability, so uh, spending time with him and upgrading his stuff is going to allow us to get access to more Beastbuster stuff, I would imagine. Oh, nope, only 3,000 XP for upping this. Weird. Uh, the way you add up population, though, is by uh, making your village better, completing quests out on the minimap, uh, unlocking new weapons, unlocking new stuff, and uh, progressing the storyline. And uh, overall, I find this fascinating. It feels kind of like Minecraft-esque, uh, survival-esque, don't starve, while still sticking to the whole Far Cry formula thing. And your defenses here are actually fairly important. Your villages are fairly important. If one of your villagers get kill, gets killed out in the wild, I've had my population decrease. If I've rescued a, a, a villager outside, that has allowed my population to increase. Um, then, of course, here you've got your gates and so on and so forth. We have been raided at least one time, and I would really like it. I really hope that that turns out to be a fairly regular... Uh, incident here in the uh, here in the game. I hope that I have to defend often uh, because it was one of the most exhilarating and exciting parts of the game. So overall, I've got to say that I've enjoyed this game tremendously. I'm still going to be enjoying it. I'll enjoy every last second of this. I think um, the story is okay, but the survival aspect is what keeps bringing me back. Uh, and also those weird, exciting moments like getting attacked by a cougar out of nowhere, taming beasts. Ooh, I should show you the beast taming system. Hello, wolf. Here's the only animals I currently have tamed. And you tame these by finding them out in the wild. We have uh, a doll. We have the wolf, and of course we have the owl. Looks like we can get uh, a variety of wolves, other dogs, a variety of cats, a variety of bears, saber tigers, there's the honey badger. Honey badger doesn't give a shit. Um, not tameable, not tameable. Weird, I guess. I don't, I don't know why Why they're not tameable. I've seen them used by other streamers and YouTubers. And a variety of different wolves. Each serves a slightly different purpose, if not cosmetic. Um, so I guess, really... Hi, guys. I'm your lord and master. How are you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, drop it. Drop it for daddy. Daddy wants his treasures. Oh, do I not get it? Do I not get it? Oh, come on. I thought those were offerings. I thought that was offerings. Why are you not making offerings to me? Why do I not get an offering? <laughs> hey, hey! Hey, I didn't know they could fight back. I didn't know they would fight back. Are you kidding me? And now we're down a villager. Well... I said that I was the litter, or the leader. I didn't say I was a benevolent one. All right, well, this is first uh, first look at Far Cry Primal. <laughs> Gotta stop killing my own villagers. But they're so, so delicious. Uh, overall, I'll say that the game is pretty good. It's not uh, as uh, you know game breaking as I would have anticipated. It you know, but it's certainly a big, big difference from the previous Ubisoft games and Far Cry games. And one of my favorite parts, no store. No store trying to sell me DLC. No store with microtransactions. As far as I can tell, no no <laughs> um, mobile tie-in. Fairly integral game. And that's something in this day and age. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this first look at uh, Far Cry Primal. If you check my Twitch channel, you'll see me streaming it several times. Uh, over the past week, and you can watch the VODs, and maybe you can catch me streaming it again sometime soon. Thanks for watching, guys. I love you very much. I'll speak with you again soon.